What's up, party people? Today I have a guide for you on how to get Mastery Rank 9 on Warframe. This method is going to be kind of safe, but also slow. Um, if you're like me, you had a really hard time getting Rank 9, or you still haven't gotten Rank 9. Um, I must have failed it like 9 or 10 times, and it was very frustrating. And at least for me, I was following a lot of people that uh, had like a really fast method of doing it, and that just didn't work for me. I don't know, I guess I'm just not skilled enough, whatever. But if you're like me and you're having some issues, here is a safe but slow method of how to complete it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming content. Let's get this party started. Alright guys, let's get this started. Now, I am first off going to recommend that you use a fast hitting weapon. I use the Broken Ward because it has a really fast attack. Uh, first guy, really simple. You just run up, you hit him in the back. Now, if you're quick, you can run to the left and you can kill him over there and then run to the right and kill him. Personally, like I said, I like to take it slow, so I wait for this guy to come around, sneak up behind him, and give him a nice little smack. Um, after that, you just want to wait for this guy to round the corner. If you run up too quick, he'll notice you, and then you can go hit him in the back. And just like that, your first little section there is done. Uh, definitely the easiest part, and I'm sure if you've done this, you've gotten past it before. Now, this part, I go really slow, <laughs> and that is just because there are a lot of different angles, uh, excuse me, that you can get seen here, and I just didn't want to deal with it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to wait for this guy to go around the corner here, and then you can come up behind him and give him a nice little tap on the back. Now, I like to immediately run over here to the right, <clears throat> just because... Uh, I feel like it gives me like a good vantage point, and we're going to be paying close attention to this guy who is now walking forward. So you're just going to sit here, and you're going to wait for him to go around the corner, uh, and then you can take him out too. However, you want to note that there's a guy over there that's looking your direction uh, in the very back, so you want to wait for him to turn before going for this guy, otherwise he will notice you. Um, and I'm definitely going to recommend that you watch this through a couple times before you attempt this. Now, this is a... Uh, this is a big waiting game, and that's just because I'm trying to play it really safe. But basically, I'm going to wait for this guy to walk all the way around. Um, and something else that you want to notice here, or something else to notice here, is that you can actually hear the footsteps when these guys are walking by, and that is actually really useful. And you're going to see why uh, in a minute, too, after we take out um, that guy there. And it's just, uh, you just want to take it slow. You just want to take it slow. So, here we are, we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Like I said, I'm doing this slow, I've mentioned it before. Uh, so as soon as he goes around the corner there, you can kind of pop around the corner to see where he's at, and there should be another guy that's there as well. And you want to wait for him to turn around, and you can come up behind and smack him. Now at that moment, if you're quick, you can run forward and kill the other guy, uh, but I had a couple bad experiences with that, so I decided to just wait. Now what you want to do is you just want to wait here for him to go all the way around. Again, and when he turns the corner, you're going to take him out. Now, another really cool thing here, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but when you're looking at the bottom of this little, uh, you know, walkway or whatever, you can actually see a shadow of when the, of like where the guy is walking, and it's nice. So like right now, you can see right there, you can see a little silhouette of where he is. And if you watch that silhouette, you can see when it turns. Right now, turns. So you can go up and you can take him out. Nice little leap slam to finish him off. Okay, we are now on to the third section of Mastery Rank 9. Now, this part is absolutely terrible. I failed this so many times. I found the best way to handle this is to immediately run to the right and smack the guy that's right there. Now, after that, you are going to want to wait for these two guys to converge in the middle, and then they are going to start walking away from you. Give them a second to start walking away from you, because if you run behind them immediately, uh, they'll notice you. So you can see I wait just a little bit, I walk slow, and then I rush up and immediately take both of them out. As you can see, he turned around, but I was quick enough. That is where having a fast-hitting weapon is going to be very important. So like I said, I like the Broken War because it hits quickly. Now, this next part here, we are going to be waiting for the guy on the right to walk back around and turn his back to us. So once again, it's a little bit of a wait, but it's very safe. Because if you wait until he comes and turns around, uh, there's absolutely no opportunity for you to be seen, and I just I just think it's a good method to do this. So we're chilling here, we're waiting, my dude's playing with his sword, which apparently this guy doesn't notice, but you know, whatever. Um, poking my head out there was a little risky, but it worked out. So anyway, we're just going to take kind of a wide angle on this guy and smack him. Now, once again, if you're quick, you could run up and hit the next guy, but 
I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait for him to round the corner again. And uh, then we can jump up and hit him. Pretty easy. Like I said, there, there are faster ways to do this, guys. But I was having trouble with it. So I just took a really, really, really safe approach when it came to doing this. So anyway, you go up, you smack him. And then we're just going to wait for the guy that's directly in front of us here to turn his back. And we are going to finally get this. And as you can see, I did a nice little leap slam finish there just because I was very frustrated with this. And I was very happy to finally get it done. Anyway, guys, I had this clip on my computer. I wanted to share it um, just because I know I had trouble with it. And I figured uh, other people might be as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, as those, you can leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.